Hi, um, today I'm going to show you the Smart Geiger from FT Lab. What you have to do is download their app. You can find that in the Google Play Store. If you have an iPhone, then I don't know, figure that out because I don't have an iPhone. It also came with some liquid armor, a little freebie they threw in on the side, which that stuff is really good. It helps protect your screens. Um, okay, the FT Labs, this is the box it came in. And what it is, is this little device right here, and it came with a little instruction pamphlet. Some of the do's and don'ts in there that you should probably follow. And what you do with this little jobby, this is the, the nifty little Geiger counter that plugs in right to your headphone. Do -do -do -do, right to your headphone socket of your phone. Or, or your tablet, any smart device, I guess. Okay, oops. Alrighty. Um, once you have it installed, you just open it up. Um, you see I do have the counter, the Geiger counter thing right up on top of the phone where the head jack is. And I've already calibrated it. The first time you put it, um, turn it on, it needs to be calibrated, which I've done that already long ago, so I'm not going to be able to show you that again. And mine particularly stops at 10 all the time. And what you do, you press the start. And give it a second. And it should start counting. And it is. You can see this right there there it's counting so if there's any radiation around this area right here where the phone is it will register on here um, I did find it kind of strange I put it inside my microwave oven and I'm going to show you a demonstration of that in a little bit but I put it inside the microwave of course I didn't turn it on I just left it sit there um, the Geiger counter was on not the microwave and it's sat there at 10 for, oh, I bet you two minutes. And then all of a sudden, I had looked and it was going up. And it went up to about 32, I believe. And then it went down again. And by the time I got done with the whole thing, it was, I don't know, it was like at 10. I had it running for 13 minutes. In the directions, it does say to lay it down because any motion of your hand or shaking of anything, you know, could just, you know, make the, the reading inaccurate. And you should leave it run for like 10 minutes. So I did all of those things, and I'm going to show you now how that reads in the microwave. Okay? Hold on. Put it in here and turned it on, and it already looks like it's jumping. It's up quite a ways. I don't understand really why it goes up so fast one time and another time it doesn't unless just because it the microwave is plugged in and somehow the current running through the cord is actually doing something with it too I don't know you can see that it's changing it's actually going down now and we are on just about 53 seconds, almost a minute. So, according to this, I think my microwave, when it is off, it must be emitting a lot of radiation. Alright, I'm just going to put you guys on standby and come back to this. Just over two minutes, two and twelve seconds. It slowed down. It was flashing pretty fast before, and it looks like it's dropping off. I'm not a real technical person, especially when it comes to meters and things like this. I'll have to go online and maybe read a little bit more. The directions I came with it don't really have a lot of information just the basic this is how you use it so you got to be a little bit smarter than the counter to figure out what it what it's trying to tell you I 
I wonder if while the microwave door was closed that it was building up radiation inside and then when I opened it and put my cell phone in it it had counted high and now the radiation is leaving because I've got the door open and I'm standing here in front of it sucking up all the radiation I don't know that's just my theory I'm, I'm thinking where are we? We're on three and a half minutes and it's gone down quite a bit. Oh, now it's coming back up. Huh. I've been really careful with my Geiger counter thing too. I have not dropped it um, or have been careless with it. I've put it back into its little plastic housing that I showed you when I first started this clip. Um, I know if you, you know, drop them or whip them around or something that it could damage them. So, just to let you know that. And now my reading's up quite high. I'm going to put you on standby again and come back later. In here, um, it was just up in the rent a second ago. And we are on five, almost six minutes. I'm going to leave it run for at least 10 minutes and then see what our final outcome is. So we'll get back at you. 10 minutes now. About 10 and a half minutes. And it's dropped down considerably. It's at 2 point. Well, now it's moving again. Now it's rising. So I'm definitely not sure how this thing works. If you have more brains and knowledge, I should say, on how um, Geiger counters act, then, um, well, you'd understand it better than me. All right, okay. I was going to shut it off, but it's going up again, so I'm just going to hang out here a minute. No, it's back down. All right, that's it. The Geiger counter, Geiger meter. Thing in the app itself. We've got um, some other things you can do here. You can save it, which I did just save that file. You can go back and look at the history, and there's a few other options in here for you to to learn how to use it. Facts and questions might answer a lot of my questions. <laughs> I should get in there and read through all of that. Alrighty. And then there oh oops can you see this? There's also a little camera right here too. There. And I just said it saved it. Alright. <laughs>